是什么样的症状？鼻子也疼，鼻子没坏，耳朵也聋，耳朵没坏，嗯，神经官能失常。嗯、oh, um, ，the hardest illness to treat in <coughs> Western or Eastern medicine is when the nervous system starts to break down by itself, so that there's there's no illness, but Um, for instance, you can't hear, well, there's no reason for it, you can't smell, you can't hear for it, you've lost movement, whatever the reason may be, there's no, it's a nervous system problem versus an actual illness or injury. Um, even leading to the point of, um, I don't want to say hypochondria, but um, sort of, I have a problem in the head and you have a problem in the head, or my foot hurts and your foot hurts, and um, the... Would be called, I guess, a mental illness. And that's led to a huge growth in the fields of、um, psychiatry, psychology. And that.、Um, We might use methods of talking to a patient or leading them through their problems, or all the terms that we use today for、uh, psychology, psychiatry. When、uh, Chinese medicine base basically views them as a problem of essences and spirit. And that、um, when what's called the spirit of the body starts to、um, dilapidate is a fine way to translate it. Starts to fall apart. Um, you need to focus on the essences and chi of the body. Because when the essences are, are strong enough to fill the chi, and the chi is strong enough to keep the spirit happy, then you don't have those problems.、Uh, and it's important again to stimulate,、uh, to strengthen the essences, chi, and spirit in the body. Not only the body, but the particular area of problems to force the、uh, immune system or rep reparation system of the body to go to those areas, because we often ignore those areas when we're ill. So, this eye doctor, for example, 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 And then again, it's important to understand that the healing of the body is the role that the body does. When you break a, a bone or when you cut yourself, the doctor does not fix your bone or fix your wound. They just put it in a better place for the body to heal itself. So, for instance, a broken bone, a doctor would align the bones, but what actually causes the bone to heal itself or to join together again is the body. And so that the doctor's role is just to make sure it's in the proper place, not to actually seal or heal a bone. Because it's important to remember that true growth comes from yourself. Nobody else is doing it to you. And、um, what governs that body ability to really heal or to what rules the healing ability is the spirit. 神的作用在人体是什么？是光电磁。And one way that we might understand the roles of the spirit, quote unquote, in the body are the light layer of the body and the magnetic layer of the body, as well as the electromagnetic、um, layer of the body. 人有生物电。We have our own electromagnetic field. 人有生物磁。And we have our own magnetic field as well as electric field. 啊。你在这个病灶的时候，上次我们在温森先生那儿听一个老西医专家讲课，他也谈到了这个啊，现在无药这个功能啊，这是电的作用。And、uh, he was very pleased when we were in Tucson, we were invited to take part in a lecture that Andy Weil was giving, Dr. Andrew Weil, and、um, he happened. I was translating what Dr. Andrew Weil was saying、uh, before we went on stage. And he was quite pleased to hear the advances in understanding that allopathic medicine has made with、uh, the electromagnetic pulse in the healing of bones. But again,、uh, he'd like to remind all of you: stay common sense. 
the electric abilities of the body are not the same as the electric currents that run and make the lights work in this room. There's a whole big people in Xi doing Qigong who work with electricity, sort of, look, I can run the electricity through my body and things like that. Um, he says again, stay, stay in your own body. Um, or other Qigong practitioners who say they can uh, bring iron filings to their body because their magnetic fields are so strong. Um, he says that uh, with the electric magnetic field of the earth itself, he wonders how these people kind of walk around. Uh, it's important to understand that in terms of understanding electric, the magnetic field of the body, it is different from a magnet. And so he always likes to say to people who talk about these Qigong practitioners, he says, look, if our magnetic field was the same type that you could attach, you know, suck um, bolts and nails to your hands, then what happens when these poor people walk through a factory? <laughs> Which brings us to qi and blood. And so in treating illness, you first treat qi, and afterwards you treat the blood. Because in Chinese medicine, qi is what guides or pulls the blood. Because Qi's role is to pull slash uh, push the blood through the body. And so uh, what's called blocked Qi, stagnated Qi, or what we might view as um, bruising, stagnated blood, clotting of blood, are all reflections of the flow of Qi. And that whether you're treating heart conditions or results of stroke um, due to a lack of blood to the brain, whatever it may be, all one needs to work on the qi. Which brings us to understanding what maintaining health is in martial arts. Which is one practices oneself, one develops oneself, one evolves oneself, one maintains or treats oneself <coughs> to achieve a perfect balance of health in the body. And, uh, you know, for instance, the Yinstal Ba Gua, Ba Gua literally means eight trigrams, or the octagon that goes around the Taiji symbol, not a yin yang symbol, the Taiji symbol. And each of these trigrams is its own complete system with its own animal, and each of these trigrams, he would teach, for instance, parts of it, um, working the spleen for the unicorn, the lungs for the lion, the heart for the rooster. Each of the animals has their organ that they affect the most. And so that um, when he has patients and he, and he treats them their illness and they, as they get better and stronger, he'll often teach them bits of the animal that best treats their system understanding that you can use the practice of martial arts to become quite healthy oneself. And he, uh, he does not like systems which, if you were to look at them, you'd have to think, well, boy, one method is worth 10,000 applications because when kids start practicing, they do the same moves. When they get old, they're still doing the same moves. Men are doing the same moves. Women are doing the same moves. Everybody's doing the same thing from beginning to end. And he feels that that's um, very unrepresentative, or unrepresentative of the humans that come to practice. Females, for instance, are different than males. And in Yin Sao Gua, they might practice the unicorn. Um, and large males might learn the lion, or what's called the Qian or pure yang trigram. Uh, and that he might teach children, he might start them off with monkey. 
And so that it's important that um, the person, uh, the martial art is not defined by the art and then everybody does it. It's defined by the person who practices it. And so to be truly effective, it needs to take advantage of the aspects of the person. And so that you need to tailor your practice to your body condition. And so you have to be able to, uh, I guess you could translate it as, your heart has to be able to feel it and your hands have to be able to touch it. And uh, when there is feeling and when there is sensation, when there's understanding, then the results are very immediate. And uh, that's what part of this weekend is going to be about, is uh, working very hard for the people who come to our classes, which we'll be doing the eight healing sounds, the 12 guiding energy meditations, and some of the padding, uh, to fully understand um, those exercises and those roles in developing the body. But uh, he can talk all he wants about the importance of gathering chi in the body, but there's a couple of places which are naturally soft in the body. So here the throat. Go ahead and poke him in the throat. Push. Push hard. Oh, man. All right. Same thing in solar plexus. Punch. Use your fingers. Fingertips, because you want to feel how the chi gathers and it feels very hard. Sides. It's <laughs> <laughs> very important is that uh, he believes any practice should have actual application. So, for instance, gathering the chi in the throat needs to make the throat quite strong so that it becomes strong, or the abdominal area, the solar plexus, or the sides, that uh, you develop the body. And that is what's called in Yisda Bagua the chi arriving at its proper place. And when the chi arrives at its proper place, then you, your body becomes strong the way it should. And so one of the things we were talking about yesterday was is that he likes sports and he likes physical activity. Um, and so last night we were having dinner with um, uh, some people actually here, and, um, and he was talking about with soccer, it's great, and he loves to watch soccer, but he challenges any 80-year-old to go out and play a full game of soccer. Right? You can't. Uh, but you can practice martial arts all through your life, from the beginning to the end, understanding that you change its practice and your focus. And so that um, for him, one of the great pleasures of these tours is a chance to um, share and teach and um, demonstrate what is essence is chi and spirit and chi strength and force, both in a healing aspect, in a martial aspect, as we're doing all those types of workshops. And um, he gets a lot of pleasure out of doing it. And um, the biggest joy for Dr. Shia is to teach this. So um, personally, I would like to thank all of you for your interest in coming, because that's what makes the work we do survive, and that's what makes the arts that Dr. Shia practices continue. So thank you all very much.